there? Even, they are, they find their origin in that uh, church there in Santa. Ah, uh, yeah. There's, there are two remnants. One is uh, there is a oil painting hmm. picture. I don't know. Okay, Can you reach okay. 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 Uh, there is a that is belonging to the Frias. Frias afterward they become Costas. Okay, in Kandor. These are Frias originally, and they got that uh, crucifixion scene. A big dagra we got. It is a painting, a wood frame painting. Mm. And they got properties there. Yes, uh, just uh, oh, yeah. to correct. There, uh, there are cost of free years, yes. and there are free years cost also. Yes. Separate. Yes. These who are there in Ma in Kandoli. Ah, Kandoli. Magi na? Okay. Don't mind. Don't okay, okay, please. Yeah, let me finish. I will answer you. You'll answer all your questions. Yeah. You have then, in 2017, I will uh, write a book on Saligao Visorsha. Now mm. let me dwell a little bit on that. Why this book? Already last was our happy memory, father of happy memory, Nasiman Maskarin, the micro mm. villager from there. He has written, The Land of the Salt Tree. Mm. After having gone with that, and during the Jubilee year, I was just in 9th or 10th, I did the whole SSC in Montegiri. So that time, uh, Jubilee, so many things, remnants are just lost. Okay. Afterward, there was right here, right up here and there, again lost. So after having gone through, some of the things were missing in the previous writings. I have not repeated anything in this book. Yes, yes, yes. So I have not missed anything in that book, so I have only added. So that is, uh, the charm of Saligao is in there. Yeah, thank you. Father, carry on, carry yeah. on. Uh, Saligao, we saw Shah mm -hmm. Precisely, we should not forget what has gone before. Some of the things which are not featuring now, book one, Father Nasiman. Also, uh, one, De Cruz, and uh, I forget their name. They wrote 100 years, picturesque yeah. land Saligao or something. So there also, so some of the things. So as Frederick, Frederick mentioned last time, at the time of inauguration of this book, this is the uh, fourth book, uh, sixth book after Clarice. Father Clarice is going to talk on Wednesday yes, about the yes. books of Saligaon. So she will cover all that. Very good. We, very we good. are the only village with seven or eight books on the village. Mm. On the village, yeah. Including two so of Father. <coughs> everywhere we have editions, and I have given one imagery there. Uh, it is something like inexhaustible fountain. Uh, we, the more we draw from the fountain, it will fill up again. Mm. So it is inexhaustible. You get me? So mm -hmm. also, there may be some more who may think something is left out on Sariva. All we may write, or you may write, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it will be added. There, so is, scope there is scope for many more books. There is scope for many more books. Yes. It's never okay. complete. Yes. yes. So never that complete. is, is Sariva researcher. And who designed the cover for me since our Bina was there? Uh, our uh, Mel, Mel Jusuza mm -hmm. from Canada. So the same cover I have kept for me. the second Mel, Mel is last book also. Yeah. Mel has done this job. Good job. Mm -hmm. He's in illustrations inside, Father. Can you just show two or three? Mm -hmm. Inside, inside, inside pages of Mel's. Ah, inside. Okay. okay. He does these beautiful paint paintings of the Goa that yes, was. Sure, sure, sure. He grew up here, relation of Fiona and Annette, cousin. You know Alice? Yeah. Relation uh, of uh, Fiona and Blanche's nieces, Fiona and Annette. He does beautiful Yeah, he does yeah. beautiful illustrations. This is one of them. So this is one uh, with a buffalo in the about, front. About our boundary from Saliga to Saliga. Mm. The story goes where that there was a dispute over the boundary, okay. and yeah. they sent a buffalo to run, and where the buffalo ran, the boundary was decided. That's oh. a story. There are two. That's a story. Two. You must read through that. You must read the uh, uh, story. Boundaries. One is buffalo boundary. Yeah. Another one, uh, some other people won because they buried a man. And this thing I come, come across. Buried the man to shout to talk from there. Yeah. Oh, she may. He shame. And that came along like a And he was a non gown cat. See the beauty of it. And he was buried. And by what then, by the, in the jubilation, they forgot to unearth him. And he oh, died. So they oh don't people God. put down their and foxes, died. put down their head. Did that story? Came back. Uh -huh. And they, forgot amidst the jubilation, forgot to unearth him. In the middle of the night, they found him dead. Small interruption. One yes, of Mel's yes. drawing is outside there, where yeah, he, yeah. he takes all the names of the villages and he uh, yeah, describes yeah, paints Saligao as all the names. Yes. With the goods. Miku, yeah. Miku, 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 yeah, yeah. From uh, Molebad. Molebad. 
This story is about Papa our neighborhood where from the Munkuto. You know their surname. Munkuto. So his grandpa. Mel's grandpa. So oh. every so house day, had a name, yeah. We had name. forgotten. Which we forgotten. There was a very lovely episode in his uh, life. Papa's been. name, mm -hmm. Papa's uh, life. What happened? No, he was going to uh, Saligaon Church, and in the middle of the night, when, uh, suddenly a storm arose, and he was a very devout person. What he did, did no, he let go of the umbrella and embraced the coconut tree. And he forgot, that's what he has illustrated here. What? And I told him, but I didn't tell him, this is your papa, grandpa. But I made him, and he has done a good job. Have a look, Frederick. And what has happened, no? Then finally, I have said something in Konkani that was better in the other book. Forget it. Uh, then, uh, yeah, just have a look, Baba. So I'll comment on the other two books, the two, three are there. Oh, he got, it was a storm, is it? Storm, yeah. He taken yeah. by storm, yes. yeah. Mel has done beautiful drawings lovely, sitting in Canada, lovely. sitting in Canada. Probably one of oh. the old coconut trees on the Chogam roads. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was there. It was there. I told him where to take coconut trees. it. Yeah. So yeah. after that, in, uh, excuse me, uh, 2017 I wrote a book on Pelsang Pal Isorsi. This is my parish where I was serving. Uh, that is the one. And it stretches from up to the airport up to the airport stuff, neighborhood of Kansauli. Now the big row is going on about the double laning of the uh, railway. Okay. I've written on the petition yes, houses are going uh, by that extension. No? So they, some of them called up to me and said, Father, you have done a good job. These houses will be salvaged. Surprisingly, okay. that Sorry, that's my what? Surprising that village Belsam is so yes, you know, yes. has got two, three books written uh, from that village. Otherwise, the village, everything is quite. Uh, that's not, because of individuals. Not. I think you're talking about Themistocles de Silva. Uh, uh, you see, if someone takes an interest, if someone takes an interest, ROC, Father, ROC. Yeah. Uh, no, this is Belsam is okay, okay. separate. Okay. 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 Well, so I, was so, I was surprised when you said because I am the only one to order wrote. a book, the okay. first book. Okay. Articles were there. Yeah, articles okay. were there. Then we have in uh, 2019, I have written on Hill Mount, the Mount of Ages. All history, background, everything, each and every article, look and corner of that uh, hillock, I have dealt there. Which hillock is this? Uh, Montegiri. Montegiri. Yeah. Oh. Hill Mount, uh, because I was a capuchin, so I could mm -hmm. do all that. Fair enough, yeah. Then I will just refer. Uh, I have written a booklet on St. Anthony's Novena, 2020. Yeah. Then, How many total, Father? Uh, there will be six, seven, two, two, six, seven, ten, eleven. 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 Father was about to con uh, commit Avois. that word. Yeah, yeah, he didn't yeah. comment on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Avois, okay? Avois. So there it is. Uh, what I wanted to tell you. Avois. So, one book I have translated, uh, the missal for the Franciscan Capuchins. So they know the termi uh, terminology and all, I will use the right terms. So, I have translated for them. Into Konkani? Uh, into Konkani, from English to Konkani. And then, our famous Celia Ribeiro, Ribeiro asked me to tra translate one book from English into Konkani. Which is? Uh, sorry, sorry, from Konkani into English. I can, can you read it? You are reading so that was a very difficult job for me because the denomination of coinage. Kota Kovita. Kota Kovita, it is? No. no. Ah, yeah, yeah, a little part, yeah. Sure. It's difficult to. Kota Kovita. This is the cover I have copied from that book only. This so is what this girl was I found very difficult with some yeah. of the these terms. So they are poetry, poems? Poems, mix everything, small articles also. Yeah. On what it is, Father? Uh, on, uh, he wrote on Bombay. Who? Uh, one fellow from uh, some relative, not relative of the earth, somebody approached her. So I just put it because I have done that work. Again, translated from Konkani to English. But they are not conversant in uh, mm. Konkani. Right. Konkani, so I've had a tough time for that. And finally, I've come out with this book. Mm. Now, again, a lot of things I added in that is nothing to do with my. So, mind. who's the original author of that Kota Kurita? He doesn't remember the name. I don't remember, Baba. 
That's why if you could read it, you it's know, very talk. small. For me, very difficult. As we now say, this, this is only a photograph. But this is an example. Yeah, this example yeah, exactly yeah, for us. Yeah. Baba, you were asking me now, Fred. Yeah, yeah, please, 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 please. Yes, Baba. Thomas, I'm not going to ask you a question, but I'm not going to ask you a question. Yeah, he's going to ask you a very deep question. Okay, okay. No problem, carry on. He's an engineer, Edwin. Edwin was an engineer. I work with the Harbor. Harbor. Okay, okay. Very, very committed I person. In, I live in Penjum. But Penjum. apart from that, very committed to, to all environmental, social, very very good. Good. Edwin Vaz. Yeah. From Lutoli uh, also. And uh, origin, from origin from Lutoli, but lived all. Lutoli. Where from Lutoli? Right. Now uh, uh, she wants to know your surname, father's near, name, grandfather's uh, name. Uh, near uh, uh, that uh, big foot behind that. Oh, ah, okay, okay. But, uh, no, my, my surname is Vaz. Mummy is from Montero's family. Montero's. And uh, my Dad, no? uh, grandparents, everything is from locally only. Father's, father's side and mother's side. side. Okay. But father moved uh, to Penjim uh, somewhere late 18th century. 18th century? Yeah. So, um, by coincidence, mummy became from this. You mean your grandfather? Grandfather. Yeah. And sisters. Yeah. 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 So you will have people there? So yeah, what was your question, Rao? Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah, for bailing you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, yes. they were, uh, you were saying Freyish was the Yes, yes, yes. The ones who here in Kambini are Costa Freyish. Costa Freyish. So, so there is another, another who are Freyish, Freyish Costa from in uh, Nashola. Nashola. Nashola also. They are, they are from okay. Nashola. Could be a diaspora. But Parra also. In Nashola. Parra, they are uh, Freyish souls or something like that. So let's no, no, no. Baba, real, the, the real name thrives with them. Because why? I was studying the Brazon. You know, I have dealt in my book on Welsan, on Brazon exclusively. Because the they're coat of coat of arms. Arms. Exactly. And here we got uh, Montero's family have here in Kandoli. Uh, this ones have what you call the Pintos have there. Uh, this are on Nirmala they have. But I am told real freest Brazon is in Nagwa. I visited their family, they showed me. Father, one question. Yes, All please. your books you have self-published. Yes. What are the challenges of self-publishing? Of course, it's a faster route, but there are also challenges, pressures. But you have done a good job, I must say, of yeah, coming yeah. out with so many books and also selling them, no? Correct. Yeah, yeah. So what so, are the challenges you face? The challenges, one thing is, uh, when I was in the ministry, so I could easily, now I am held up because I had double, I had COVID and stroke also, minor oh. stroke. So I am bound to home now. But I am continuing my work, but I cannot do as before before because uh, as I told you how I began my writing mission mm. and I was going through then I was knocked down by this sickness. Yes. yes. So, so yeah, yeah, so you, uh, but yeah. in terms of, uh, you print 1000 or 500? No, no, now only 500. First, St. Anthony's went to 4000. I see. St. Anthony's, yes. See, if religious book sell, sell. religious sell. book how sells. Long back? Sorry? How long back was the first? Uh, first one was in 2006. Then I repeated because it was all sold out. The half of our deceased in Antony Divorce is not showing oh, uh, Joshua in Shishini. That is the beauty of it. Yeah. And uh, what I have found, uh, Frederick, as you were asking me, the good encouragement we get from the South. Yeah, not yeah. from readership, it's more from South. Not to praise you. The people, <laughs> feel, people feel very strongly about issues there. They yeah. feel more strongly. Correct. I'm checking it. See, the, the South tradition it has got more conservative and traditional uh, outlook than the North. North is getting more commercialized. Uh, uh, the migration, migration. As the demography is changing, very changing, fast. changing. The North, I think no, North but Alice, Alice, Alice to be fair, no. Left. To be North fair, yeah. See, see, but migration here now is probably stronger than it is there. So what happened? We we've been in migration, my family for three, four so generations. Say, no? So then yeah. there's a limit on how much you can keep in touch, yeah. or how much you care, or how much you even understand. And then families are becoming nuclear. Houses yeah, are closing. Yeah. Yeah. So the, these problems are there, but I still feel now I am an example. It is possible to come back to take an interest. Many young people are doing it, mm -hmm. and everyone who comes here you now adds to the understanding of the place mm -hmm. and can can you know like how father was talking about Dalgado and all can take it forward to a next generation. You know by doing this, Father John. So many people so are here. One thing what I found, Frederick, as you were asking me, since I have got more more contact with people, now I can move. So I would push the sales through them. Now stores hardly help us. Our oh, friend Broadway is there. I have left uh, two copies each. Father, the problem with stores, now yeah. this accounting and all becomes a big problem in that sense. So I understand what their problem is. Mm. Although they are friends with us, yeah. they cannot help us beyond the point. So I understand mm. what you are saying. Yeah. But uh, Father's point is we need to find alternative venues of selling. 
He has that got a good response from the market. So if he asks some friends to keep copies yeah. here, they have moved. Yes. yes. And uh, even people like Justin have done a good job of repaying his money. Yeah. And, you know, all those kind of things. Now, two of my books are uh, held up. Uh, one is uh, Saligao. I'm still. I give to the library also, Central Library. Once we are, then they take for Calcutta also. Calcutta yeah. library. They, they so give bulk orders. They, they give bulk orders. And they, last year, two years, I am held up. My these copies are pending. Hopefully, they will go. Where and they are pending, Father? You submitted there. I have to submit. I have to fill court, the form. Court, 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 Father. Oh, yeah. I have already filled the form. Secondly, on month they can be held up. Sorry to tell you, somebody was saying hardly there is Father Moses not also telling. Those who should have helped us, they don't. Because I don't get a single fry who is, they know me, but not of that old law again. There is a gap now. Mm. So they are held up. Salikao, they are held up. Father, Father you have to realize one thing. Yes, yes, For the please. average person, a book yeah. doesn't mean too much. Yeah. It, is, it has always been that case, even when we were young. It's at 5, 10%, 2%, mm. who takes a serious interest in this. Yeah. So we should, we should not expect also. We have to push. Yeah. And maybe one day, see and central now, library. Cent and now I think the younger generation is for fiction. fiction. You give them anything magical, yeah. some fantasy, a bit of romance you throw in there. And I don't think Saint Anthony will mobile help press them. Uh, mobile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Span, soft 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 span is yeah. Yeah. All their soft copy. But in, in yeah. our classes, they are like that. Yeah. They don't have books in class anymore. Anyway. The attention span is very short. But still, I have like certain hope. I have certain hope because if we find that people. if we find that two <laughs> two five percent, no, no, you won't discourage me. <laughs> if we find that two five percent, no, and if we raise it maybe to eight ten percent, we can make a difference. Make it fashionable to read again with hard copy. Make it fashionable to understand your place. Young people are here, so mm. there is hope. You see, they should encourage reading in schools yeah. and colleges, like how they give uh, what do you call it activities. Like Correct. What do you, you say then? Extra curricular, extra curricular. Extra curricular? Oh, they give some tasks. Yeah, yeah. Assignments. Assign assignments. Assignments. Yeah. Give an assignment, give each one one book. Lot and of it is happening. Them. Lot of it is happening. Youngsters come to my house, I'm going to books, I tell them, no, I can't loan my books, they have only copies. But they come. Nana's daughter, mm -hmm. Nana who's a simple guy from there, running the gas station. Yes, His daughter is reading all my books which I have not read in Kokani, this, that, the other. Okay, right. So I am quite happy at one level. Only I'm scared that I might lose my books. She's scared of it. You know, people come. So, so on the whole, I had a good response. Like on the whole. Yeah. And I'm satisfied with that. Okay. And uh, I remember Joel of Happy Memory. He told me, Father, don't go in for more than 500 copies. Mm -hmm. So now I'm restricting. Father, to Munta Munan Santa. Yes. To Munta Munan Santa. Yes. There is a problem with the printing process. Offset mm -hmm. printing, if you want to be viable and get it at good rate, you Large have numbers. to go in for 1,000. And when you go in for 1000, it becomes difficult to sell. Exactly. See, this is the problem. Exactly. This is the problem. So as of now, we have a Goa book club where there are, six, uh, you know, I would say maybe 40, 50, 60 people like Edwin, who I can sell any book to. Mm -hmm. I come out with any book, Edwin will buy it if it's on Goa. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. But we have to raise that number to, you know. Mm -hmm. we, will, we will get it. Uh, yeah. The, the thing what I have noticed on yes. this youngster is going uh, rightly, as Father said, uh, there is no uh, reading culture. Uh, primarily because the, the energy of reading now has gone into some stupid uh, reading on the, on the internet, and and now yeah. it has become uh, on the WhatsApp. Yeah. But uh, so there is no basically energy. There is no energy anymore to. It. But uh, simultaneously, along with this, no, there is a great uh, turnaround that has happened in the in the sense that uh, you suddenly find. The WhatsApp groups, uh, uh, which I, most of them uh, here shut me, uh, there is a history uh, group uh, heritage, and there is a tons and tons of uh, participation from the youngsters. The whole issue at one stage was uh, how come youngsters have suddenly turned around and come into that field, like you know, and slowly uh, realization is. These fellows have explored the internet, you know, the more social media to such an extent yeah. and found themselves facing a blind wall basically. Yeah. They have reached yeah, yeah. nowhere. Why? Put in so much amount of energy and all. Mm -hmm. And the net retaining factor or benefit factor is zero. No identity, mm -hmm. no image, no status, mm -hmm. no appreciation, nothing. And and that has brought in a, a realization you not know, to start being serious in doing reading matter uh, issues and uh, subjects that matter for value. So non-fiction more than value, just, value, just fiction. value. Uh, because um, uh, reading current affairs is of limited hope, but you read uh, 
text uh, where enhances your uh, Understand, uh, understanding clarity and uh, um, empowerment mm -hmm. that is where everything comes in you know and it is just a question of time but only thing it has to be uh, the, this uh, um, uh, subject has to be managed properly uh, because uh, uh, there are uh, uh, the uh, the the youth today is not listening to anybody at the elderly level. They get uh, guided by their immediate uh, three yeah, or five yeah, uh, yeah, years yeah, yeah. Uh, peer groups. And um, the moment one fellow has burnt himself, now he doesn't want to correct the younger fellows. There is this element of selfishness and uh, so it will happen. But provided that realization is expedited and brought into public forum, that you better start being focused in what you are doing, otherwise yeah. you will not be able to do right. Masha, just before yeah, we please, finish, yeah. Masha Bodo Kundita Sogliache, those whom we don't know and uh, we know. Okay, Edwin Vaz, as we already introduced the engineer with the court and uh, Dutoli, he is a very insightful person, thinks a lot on different issues. Alice, when I want to embarrass her, I say, you know, Alice is my classmate. Oh, okay. and, then, uh, and then people understand like this fellow so old, how come? Uh, but you used to fail also in those days. So Alice is still young and charming. She's a professor at St. Xavier's in English. English in uh, St. Xavier's College, Napsa. Uh, Aurobindo Kuto. Aurobindo Kuto. I, I, once I start my introduction, I mean they get very uh, embarrassing also at times. So Aurobindo is actually, his claim to fame many things. He's a Portuguese teacher, he's a translator. He taught at Lutz Convent also. But uh, he's the only man. He is the only man yeah. whose brother is an archbishop and his cousin is an archbishop. Oh. And the brother is sitting in Delhi and the cousin is sitting in Karachi. How you like that? Oh. Kuts, I am serious. Huh? Archbishop Kuts in Karachi and, and Archbishop uh, so you Kuto. Yeah. <laughs> I am mean, not taking credit for that. But he is a Portuguese teacher in his own right. If he comes to my house, we finish after two hours talking, 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 looking at